Mirenja Janet ndilo jina analotambulika nalo. Ni mwingi wa furaha unapokutana naye. Katu, wezi kubaliana nami anauguza kidonda kisicho na dawa. Kidonda cha matumaini ya kuitwa mama siku moja. Akiwa katika pilka pilka zake za kutafuta riziki, Mirenja ni mpokezi katika shule ya chekechea hapa jijini Nairobi. Na ni katika maeneo haya ya Gidurai 44 anapopaita nyumbani akiishi na wapo wake. Alipata kuishi na mumewe kwa muda wa miaka sita kabla ya kutelekezwa baadaye kwa kile alichokitaja kuwa jitihada zake hafifu za kumfanya kuwa mzazi. Jambo lilosababisha mzozano kati yao na hata zaidi kupelekea matusi kuwa ratba ya kila kukicha. Unataka nikuje kwa nyumba nikuje kucheza na mtoto gani? Mm, so he could come very late in the night. Hakutaka kuheshimiwe. Mirenja alipata matatizo ya kushika ujauzito baada ya upasuaji wa nyama zilizomea katika mfuko wa uzazi wake. Na hata kwa jitihada za kutumia mitishamba na matibabu ya mara kwa mara hospitalini, jitihada zake ziliambulia patupo. Na kwa ukosefu wa fedha amesalia kuhangaika kupata matibabu haya especially ya IVF. Huyo mume abruptly alichange. Ikawa ni matusi madarao he doesn't come home chakula kupei mpaka akatoroka akanyata kwa nyumba nikitaka tu kujua matibabu haya specially napiga hatua ya kukutana na daktari wa wanawake Jen Mashira anayetutibulia kwa matibabu haya huwa ya gharama ya juu na mwananchi wa tabaka la chini huathirika pakubwa Panapokuwa na matatizo ya mwanamke na vile vile mume katika jamii kushika mimba Inakuwa basi ni changamoto nyingi sihaba wanazokumbana nazo zile ambazo zinawakatisha tamaa ya kupata mtoto maishani lakini hata kwa teknolojia ya kisasa upo mchakato unaofahamika kama IVF unamlazimu mwanamke kuchukua mayai yake na vile vile mani ya mwanamme kukutanishwa njia ya mwili na baadaye kuwekwa katika mfuko wa uzazi wa mwanamke It is really a big issue that it is not that it's women. For we know that uh, usually men and women tend to contribute almost 50-50 to the infertility need. We say that 30% of the causes of uh, infertility is women. Another 30% you find it's purely the man and the woman is okay. In that percent of cases we find that both of them have a bit of a problem. Of course there are not 10% where we can't tell what the cause is. Katika baadhi ya hospitali za hapa nchini ikiwemo ya Kenyatta na Aga Khan utoza kati ya shilingi 1400 na 1500 ili mja apate matibabu haya. The contributor who contributes every month and is not a civil servant to get at least, at least part of the funding to come to cover IVF or to get IVF in public hospitals. That would uh, make it um, some that is affordable to most people. Because for right now, I would say less than 5% of the people who need it are getting IVF care. Esther Nyambura kwa upande mwingine ni mwalimu katika shule ya serikali. Hivyo basi aliponea kupata bima ya afya inaoangazia matibabu haya specially. Na kwa sasa ametunukiwa kupata watoto pacha katika safari yake ya kwanza. Japo ya pili pacha waliozaliwa mmoja hakufanikiwa kuishi na akaaga dunia. In my case I went to Nairobi West. That is where they approved 450,000 and they paid for me and I was able to get now this child that I have. Akiwa na kiu cha kuitwa mama imemgarimu nyambura milioni mbili ili awapate watoto hawa. And I'm telling you a woman who is so desperate who is in pain whichever path she is shown that this one can lead it to be called a mother they will follow it up kulingana na nicodemus odongo kaimu mkurugenzi wa bodi ya nhif bima ya afya huangazia matibabu mengine na wala si kama haya specially ya ivf yes, the society takes the woman to be the problem everything to do with child part they take it negatively if you are not happy it is the problem is the woman matatizo ya kushika mimba miongoni mwa wanawake yanaathiri kati ya 10% na 15% kulingana na shirika la afya duniani 
Athari hizi huhusisha asilimia ishirini kwa wanaume na asilimia na nane kwa wanawake. Unaona ile kuangalia wanakuangalia. Nasikianga likinikuza sana kuitwa tasa. Mpaka nauliza Mungu. Mbona uliniumba kuwa mwanamke fedha ndio shida? Ikipata wa kusimama nami anisaidie ili hii kidonda kitoke naweza furahi sana katika tamaduni za Kiafrika kuwa na watoto ni moja wapo ya mambo yanayowenziwa sana na kulingana na Esther Nyambura na Janet Mirenja hali wanaoipitia hutaka moyo na kulingana nao huenda wakafanya lolote ili mradi tu waitwe mama Milia Kisenya Mwanga Ebro